to the very first NZJS Con. It's been uh, quite a long road to get here, but I'm really, really happy to see you all here today. Um, We're absolutely packing the place to the rafters. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm really glad to have you here uh, for the fantastic content that we've got coming up. Uh, before we crack on with the main event, we've just got a few housekeeping bits and pieces. Uh, but I actually want to hand you over uh, to the... Uh, chair of the JavaScript New Zealand Society, um, which is the parent organisation of this conference, and that's Owen. Uh, so I'm just going to hand you over now. Please give Owen a welcome. Okay, thanks everybody for coming along. So on behalf of the JavaScript New Zealand Society, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our first JS, sorry, NZJS Con. I'll always get that wrong, I apologise. I'll make sure I don't take too much time here, but I want to briefly introduce the society, tell you what we do and who we are and what we're all about. So JavaScript NZ aims to uh, provide and foster an open and welcome uh, ways to grow and educate developers around New Zealand in JavaScript, essentially. We form largely due to the brilliant work of Alex Gibson, who uh, took no bots literally and metaphorically off the ground here in New Zealand. And we aim to promote and help user groups, no bots, and other initiatives that make JavaScript a welcoming language for people to work on, such as this conference. Uh, so if you want to help, run, uh, sorry, if you want help to run a meetup or a group or any kind of education around JavaScript in New Zealand, we're the society you should come and talk to. Uh, we'd love you all to get involved and help shape the way we do the things we do. Uh, so there are a few calls to action. So firstly, please check out our website, which is javascript.org.nz, uh, where you can find how to uh, join our Slack channel. That's uh, the that's first one. Uh, and also, you can become a full member of the society. Secondly, we have a GitHub organization, which is a bit harder to find. It's github.com forward slash JavaScript slash New Zealand. Uh, hyphen New Zealand, sorry. Where you can raise issues for us to discuss as a committee. Uh, you can. Uh, open pull requests against any of our documentation. We tend to do everything in the open, so you can uh, you can learn exactly how we run the society and you can become fully involved. Finally, there are a number of committee members here today uh, and a number of full members of society. I do encourage you to come and seek them out, talk to them, find out what we do, who we are. Uh, they are the committee is made up of myself, of Jen, uh, Samson is in the audience somewhere, Alex, Craig, Anna, James. Uh, Kevin and Stevie is around. If you see any of them, please do stop them, say hello, uh, and ask us about the society and what we do. Uh, that's all I wanted to say, but it would be remiss of me not to point out that this is the very first JSNZ Con. Uh, oh, uh, NZJS Con. Thank you. NZJS Con. Uh, and it is largely down to the tireless work of one person. Uh, so I would like to quickly start with a round of applause for Jen. She's put this all together. So enjoy your day here at NZJSCon. Got it right that time? Uh, and in the wise words, words of the wild stallions, be excellent to each other. Thank you, Owen. OK. So um, like I said, a few housekeeping remarks. So let's um, pop through those now. Um, first of all, it would be really remiss of me not to mention um, that we're only here today with the support of some of our sponsors. Um, so in particular, thanks to uh, Catalyst, Solnet, Talent Army, Pushpay, Little Giant, uh, Media Suite for our uh, diversity and financial aid fund, Springload, and Trade Me. And there are a whole host of other organizations, so I'll thank um, one by one at the end of the conference. Uh, so housekeeping then. Uh, first of all, uh, if there is a fire alarm, please calmly uh, evacuate the building um, through the nearest exit. That's pretty straightforward, right? I think we all got that one down. Um, and once you're outside of the building, um, you want to, if you've gone out that exit, you'll want to circle round so that you end up in the park, that's the assembly area, okay? And um, you want to wait outside the building until you're told it's safe to return. In the event of an earthquake, we have to double check this, um, drop, cover, hold. If you're in the middle of the room, that means just tucking your hands over your head to protect your head. Um, it's generally safer to stay in the building, um, but we'll have people on, staff, on site checking stuff out if there does happen to be an earthquake, and we will keep you informed of what's going on, okay? 
Um, toilets are, are at, in the corridor, um, sort of on the other side of the corridor. Um, if anybody does need access to the um, disabled toilet, um, please do let staff know. I can get that unlocked. It's actually next door in the TSB arena. Um, uh, we uh, are going to have two tracks at once, other than for these keynote sessions and the conference closing. So I would ask you, if your track ends a little bit early for a break um, and uh, there's still a, a talk going on next door, please don't go and stand outside their room and shout at them. That would be really rude. Um, it goes without saying, phones on silent, please, if you haven't done that already. We want to make sure we don't interrupt our speakers. Um, and uh, you'll be wondering why you haven't got your swag yet, um, your T-shirts or your canvas bags that you ordered and will be available from uh, morning tea onwards at the registration desk. Uh, and uh, you don't necessarily need to grab it at morning tea. You can come at lunch or afternoon tea. Um, it's just from that point on they're available, okay? Uh, we do have our lovely um, photographer walking around today. Christina, are you in the room? Put your hand up. There we go. If for any reason you don't want to show up in any of the photos that get published after the event, um, go and have a chat to Christina and she's able to uh, accommodate that for you. I just need to scroll down on my notes, apparently. Hmm. Okay, um, so... I have to confess, first conference and all, I did make one terrible, horrible mistake. I failed to get enough tickets for the coffee cart. Boo, hiss. Um, so uh, we're actually going to have to do a, a second round of tickets for the coffee tomorrow because you are going to get another couple for tomorrow and you'll be able to pick those up from the registration desk in the morning. Hey. Uh, okay, and last but not least on the housekeeping, um, you will have all ticked a little box that said you agreed to the code of conduct by coming to the conference. And I hope you have all at least had a very quick look at that. It's up on the website. But the real crux of it is treat others with respect. Um, if you don't treat others with respect, then um, you may be asked to leave the conference or more se severe depending on what happens. Uh, if you see something happening that you think breaks the code of conduct, please, 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 I implore you, report it to us so that we can do something about it. Um, we're quite spread out on the ground, but there are a lot of us. There are volunteers with yellow lanyards. If you need anything, you can talk to one of these people with yellow lanyards, and they'll either be able to help them out yourselves, or they will know the right person to escalate to. There is also an anonymous uh, web form on the website. Um, if you want to uh, reach out that way, you can. Okay, um, so on a lighter note, um, we're going to be doing our first annual NZ.js awards as well. Um, and you will have all got a voting card at reception. Uh, and uh, uh, you just need to fill out a name. But of course, you don't know what name you want to fill out. So I, I say, would say go to the, the lovely URL pictured, or there's a link from the website, and read about the people who have been nominated and pick who you'd like to. The voting box is on the table at the reception desk. It's bright yellow. You can't miss it. Uh, and uh, voting will close at the end of lunch uh, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, oh, and uh, we're getting some nice prizes for those awards. Um, we've been uh, given some vouchers for AWS. Uh, if you want to look at the schedule, you've got it on the middle of your name badge, but if you want the full detail of each talk, go and have a look at the schedule on the website. It's got full descriptions. And if you're thinking about where to get your lunch from, there's a guide to nearby places on the website too. Okay, and... Um, NZJSCon on Twitter. Um, we've got a Slack channel if you want to chat. Um, and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the um, workshops while Raquel comes and gets um, set up with her laptop. And I'll introduce her. Okay. You just get set up, I'll give you an intro. Okay, so we've got two workshops. One is this afternoon, and that's the node capture the flag um, after lunch in the middle space. Um, you didn't need to sign up for that one. You will need a laptop to participate, and that's some fun.